Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn about the electrode current requirements for TIG welding. So before starting this video, I will tell you about the code from which code I have taken the current requirement and what will be the current requirement and what will be the settings, current setting for the different materials. So all these things will cover in this video. Friends, I would request you to please join my channel. If you have subscribed my channel, then please my, join my channel too. After subscribing, you'll see a join icon and by pressing that join icon, by paying a very small amount, you can become a member of my channel. So let's start today's video. So the code reference, which I have taken is from ASME section two part C. So this current requirements is mentioned in ASME section two part C and the table is table A2 and table A2 is given in NX A. This NX A can be found after SFA 5.12. So if you uh, go to SME section 2 part C, you will see SFA 5.12. And after SFA 5.12, you will see one NX1. And in NX1, there is a table A2. And this table A2 itself, the current requirements are mentioned. So table A2 is about approximate current ranges depending upon the electrode diameter. Based on the electrode diameter, they have mentioned the current. And there is another table that is table A1. And in table A1, they have mentioned the suitability of current types. Means for which material, what will be the current setting. So let's start. This is the table. This is not the entire table A2, but I have taken some important points from the table A2. That is, I have taken electrode dia 1.6, 2.4 and 3.2 and 4.0. There are many other electrode dia 2 in TIG welding, but these four diameters are commonly used. So let's start. For example, if you will see for table 1.6 and DCEN, DCEN is direct current electrode positive, DCEP is direct current sorry, DCEN is direct current electrode negative and DCEP is direct current electrode positive. And this is AC, alternating current. So in these three configurations, you can arrange your machine and electrode holder. So for example, if you have to weld carbon steel, so this is the table A1 and in table they, A1, they have mentioned what type of current will be best suitable for which material. So for carbon steel, the best configuration will be DCEN that is direct current electrode negative. So if you are if you have to weld carbon steel then for carbon steel and electrode dia 1.6 mm the current range will be 60 to 150. So this is the best current range for electrode dia 1.6 for welding carbon steel. Now suppose if you have to weld carbon steel with electrode dia 2.4 then for 2.4 the best configuration will be 120 to 220. For 3.2 dia, it will be 160 to 310. And 4 mm dia, the best current will be 275 to 450. So these are in mm, millimeters, 1.6 mm, 2.4 mm, 3.2 mm and 4 mm. Now this is about carbon steel. Suppose if you have to weld stainless steel, then what will be the best configuration? Best configuration will be DCEN. It's again direct current electrode negative. Friends, if you do not know what is DCEN, what is DCEP and what is AC, then you can watch my polarity video. There is a uh, video in my playlist that is polarity in welding and in polarity in welding video, I have explained what is DCEN, what is DCEP and what is AC. In these three configurations, you can do your welding. So DCEN is direct current electrode negative and DCEP is direct current electrode positive. Means in DCEN, the electrode is connected with the negative terminal of the machine and in DCEP, the electrode is connected with the positive terminal of the machine. So now for stainless steel, if you have to weld stainless steel, then the best configuration is DCEN. Again, we'll go back to our table and we'll understand, for example, uh, let me erase this one. Uh, for example, if for SS you have to uh, weld, if, if you have to weld SS and the electrode die is 2.4 mm, then what will be the best current settings? So the for uh, stainless steel, it should be DCEN and for 2.4 mm dia, 
the best current setting will be 120 120 to 220 amps so this is the best now second for 4.0 electrode dia for 4.0 electrode dia the best current setting will be 275 to 450 similarly for other materials also i have written like for aluminium and its alloy thickness less than 2.5 mm if the thickness is less than 2.5 mm then the best current setting will be ac and again if the thickness is greater than 2.5 mm then uh, then also the best setting will be ac means for aluminium ac will be the best for welding for magnesium again ac you need ac current uh, that will give the best result for carbon steel stainless steel copper bronze nickel and titanium alloys the best configuration is dcen that is direct current electrode negative so sometimes it is asked in interview also like what is the difference between smaw gmaw and gtaw so gtaw is tig welding and basically they ask from the polarity point of view so you can straight forward give the answer that in smaw and in uh, gmaw uh, the common practice is using dcep direct current electrode positive whereas in tig welding or gtaw the common practice is uh, using dcen polarity that is direct current electrode no negative positive direct current electrode negative polarity so friends with this we have come to an end of our today's video hopefully you'll uh, enjoy this video and you'll like this video and if possible please join my channel thank you very much